going to show you the dew point map for the first time okay. since uh, last year. And it is more humid out there. And uh, that's what the atmosphere is using to create the possibility, at least, of some showers and thunderstorms. Let's start by taking a look at the current temperatures. It is mild, as Stan pointed out, but it's also humid, as Kate pointed out. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> It's uh, 66 at the airport, 65 in Parkton. The dew points are up close to 60. Now, again, I haven't showed you this map since last year because we haven't had to over the winter, but with a dew point up close to 60, that's enough moisture for the atmosphere to use to create some showers and thunderstorms. On top of that, we've got a system coming out of the Ohio Valley that will act as the trigger mechanism for the showers and thunderstorms. That area of low pressure is back over towards Columbus, Ohio. There's also a stalled front to our south. You can see the difference in the temperatures across that front. It's 80 in Richmond right now. It's 66 at the airport. So this is really where I think the best chance for severe weather will be in that warmer air down to the south, southern Maryland, lower eastern shore counties. That's not to say that we couldn't see some bigger thunderstorms develop here around Baltimore because certainly the setup is there, but I think the best chance is south of us. Not a whole lot happening right now. I mean, there's a few showers hanging around just south of Baltimore in uh, northern part of Anne Arundel County. Some stronger showers. No thunderstorms yet. I haven't seen any lightning being detected in these, but some heavier showers. Coming out of Washington County, heading over towards Frederick, got uh, some heavier showers up around Gettysburg and Pennsylvania. As we go through the next couple of hours and a piece of energy in the upper levels of the atmosphere comes out of the mountains, I think this uh, coverage will pick up. So while there might not be anything happening in your neighborhood right now, if you have outdoor plans this evening, I would certainly take an umbrella because I think the chance for rain will be going up as we head towards 8 and 9 o'clock. Wider view on the radar, this is where most of the severe weather is going to take place. In Kentucky and Tennessee this afternoon, this is the cold front that I showed you. That's going to go through after midnight tonight. And then behind that, a nice area of high pressure is going to take control. A little flat uh, zonal flow in the jet stream, which means the weather is going to stay quiet over the holiday weekend. So forecast goes like this. Uh, showers or thunderstorms tonight. Breezy. The temperatures will drop back after that front goes through into the 40s to start the day tomorrow. During the day tomorrow, if you're up real early in the morning, you might see a little bit of rain. A mixture of sunshine and a few clouds in the afternoon. Breezy, cooler with high temperatures only in the upper 50s. Seven-day forecast, Easter Sunday, looking good. We'll start in the 30s in the morning, so kind of chilly to start the day, but up to 60 with sunshine in the afternoon. 65 on Monday, the chance for rain will go up again significantly by the time we hit the middle of next week. But looks like a good weekend.